right. Amen. Right. We'll be blessed going in. We'll be blessed coming out. We'll be blessed just like in Deuteronomy. He said, it's blessing to overtake you. Now, overtake me, that they'll get on you so wrong that they, you wrestle with them. You can't get away from them. They'll overtake you. And the real part of them, when something overtake you, you can't get away from it. Mm -hmm. Every which way you go, it's going to be there. When we obey, total down to the real, nitty gritty, I'm going to obey God every which way I go. Everything. Get up to the stop sign out there. Mm -hmm. Stop at the stop sign. You don't have to look and see if nobody coming. You stop because the stop sign says stop. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we run up there. I know I got a bad habit of it. I run up there, look both ways, tap the brake, keep going. <laughs> Ain't stop nowhere. <laughs> hey Amen. I'm going to talk about myself. I'm supposed to obey the law. Right. Is that right? That's right. But I run up there in a hurry sometime, tap my brake, look both ways, ain't nothing coming to you. The car's still rolling. Stop means to stop. No wheels moving. That's when you stop. But if your wheels will keep it rolling, you ain't stopping. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one in this house that did that. But um, is that right? I'm, I'm not the only one, but I'm being honest. Right. With myself. We don't know where we're going to get somewhere to be honest right. with ourselves. The prodigal son couldn't got, got go back home until he came to himself. Hey Amen. Look at myself and see what a so high, frail I am, as David said. But anyhow, this is the beautiful lesson this morning. After, son, after Jesus said, Cast yourself down. Your net on the right side, anyway, they did what Jesus said mm. and couldn't get all on fish in the boat. Because they obeyed Jesus. Yes. Amen? Amen. They obeyed him too. Why? Teaching us this morning. <laughs> Praise God. Those were some of the things that I had. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Yes. Jesus was uh, already at the sea. He had prepared uh, food for them when they came ashore. Yes. Uh, praise God. And uh, this is this is uh, uh, it says after these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples of the Sea of Tiberias. And on this wise show he himself. There were together Simon Peter and Thomas, mm -hmm. called Didymus, mm -hmm. Didymus, and Nathaniel of Canaan, and Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee, and two other of his disciples. Uh, Peter uh, said that there, he was going to fishing, and so uh, six others went with him, and the others three was in the another boat uh, yeah. called the ship. Uh, praise God, going uh, fishing. Mm -hmm. As Brother Brian said, they had uh, toiled all night long mm -hmm. fishing mm -hmm. and uh, didn't catch anything. You know, that was uh, being a fisherman and not catching something, you know, it, it, they was wondering, you know, what is going on here? Mm -hmm. You know, when you, you know you have a trade, you know all about it, and it's not working. Mm -hmm. You want to know what, what is going on, what's mm -hmm. wrong. Yes. Praise God. And so uh, they didn't catch anything. And, and uh, when they got uh, pretty close to the uh, shore, Jesus spoke out and told them to uh, drop their net on the other side. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And as uh, Brother Bryant was saying that, that uh, 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 they didn't say anything, they just did what he said. Mm -hmm. And if we do what, what the Lord tell us to uh, do, we can come out uh, conquering just like uh, uh, the disciples did. Mm -hmm. right. They caught more fish, fish, they was there all night toiling and didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. But at the word of Jesus, uh, praise God, mm -hmm. they, they uh, 
put their net on the other side and they caught more fish than they probably ever caught at one time. Mm. Praise yes. God, and big fish. Mm -hmm. And so, and then it also said that the net didn't even break. Amen. Praise God. And, and uh, Jesus told them to uh, bring their fishes uh, to him. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and he told them to come and dine. Mm -hmm. He had already uh, had coals, uh fish on, on the grill, as you would say, mm -hmm. and bread uh, yeah. for them to eat. And I just uh, imagine uh, all the miracles that uh, Jesus had done. Mm -hmm. He made a miracle there for the food that they had to eat mm -hmm. on the grill there. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. And so, because they was out out at the bank of the sea, mm -hmm. and there wasn't nothing around, uh, praise God. But it was food there for them when they got there, mm -hmm. praise God. And it was, they didn't know, at first, they didn't know who uh, Jesus was mm -hmm. uh, until he told them to uh, drop the net on the other side. Mm -hmm. And praise God. And John uh, told them, said, this is the Lord. And, and uh, Peter was, wasn't fully dressed, so he got in the water and put his clothes, uh, coat uh, around him. And uh, I can uh, uh, try to imagine after they got up there and uh, uh, saw Jesus, I don't think Jesus looked like he looked I don't either. Uh, before. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think he looked like then. Mm -hmm how he looked before he That's right. was crucified. Mm -hmm. I think he was in, in, in uh, uh, a different form, but but you knew who he you was. Who he was yeah. Praise God, mm -hmm. glory to God. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, his appearance was uh, uh, different, the holy uh, yeah. uh, appearance was different. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. And, and uh, as uh, Brother Brent was saying, as uh, the disciples obeyed him, we have to obey him too. Yes. Uh, praise God. When he uh, uh, speak to us, uh, tell us to do something, we are to do it. Yes, See, sir. they didn't argue and say, we have called all night and have called nothing. Mm. And see, they didn't know who he was. Mm -hmm. Who are you to tell me uh, mm. uh, to throw my net on Amen. the uh, other side? They mm. didn't do none of that. Mm -hmm. They just taken him at his word and did it because they hadn't done anything. Right. If you want something done uh, different, you uh, if you're doing it the same way, it's going to work out the same way. The same. But if you do something different, mm -hmm. then there's another way. Yes. And sometimes it's, it's the better way. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so they did that. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I was just uh, 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 thinking about uh, the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. Right. To yeah. obey uh, what the Lord says. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times uh, the Lord uh, uh, tell us as a whole to do something we want to question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whether it's him or not, mm -hmm. uh, uh, praise God. You know, if if um, if uh, uh, you uh, 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 have a close relationship with God, you know His voice. Yeah. Right. Praise God. If you have a close relationship with anybody. You know them. Yes. You don't have to see their face and you hear that voice. You know who it is. That's yes. right. Praise God. Glory to God. And so if we have a close relationship uh, uh, with, with uh, uh, the Lord, yes. we know him uh, when he speaks. Yes. Praise God. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And even though the enemy tries to trick us, mm -hmm. but the spirit of the Lord that within us uh, let us know yes. the difference, praise God, because we are close to him. Yes. Uh, uh, praise God. And so before I go any further, I'd like to uh, have someone <clears throat> that have something to say. Uh, they are at a liberty right now to uh, mm -hmm. uh, say, because it's all our Sunday school. Yes, yes. And we all uh, yes. have a voice to uh, speak God's word. I said good morning to the house of faith. Good morning. I thank God for blessing me to be here. I was ready to do the Bible 
But since John had told them who he was, they didn't have to, have to ask, you know, mm -hmm. who he was because they knew. And, they, and I say, to me, yes. And John had, I say, a close relationship <coughs> with, with Jesus. And so I'm saying that's why he know, you know who he was because of the relationship and what the miracles, you know, he has done. And uh, I'm saying in his mind, said, nobody can do that, you know, but the Lord. Mm -hmm. You can do this thing, but the Lord. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so he did, he, he invited him to breakfast. And, then, and like I said, that was the third time, the first time. Mm -hmm. That he appeared was when the disciples, I say, was hiding, hiding from the Jews, mm -hmm. and he appeared, appeared to them. Next time he appeared, one, I say, one of the mm -hmm. disciples, Thomas, he wasn't there, you know. And Thomas, he was the person he had to see to, you know, to believe. Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh, we. We have that same attitude. We have the same attitude. <laughs> yeah, and it, it was good. Being obedient, that's the part that I, uh, I remember when I was young, and we should always obey our parents. Yes. But sometimes, uh, sometimes, although You'll be right, but still, you don't go against the past. You don't go against the past. And you don't disagree. This is what I'm saying about the disciples. They didn't know who he was until John told them. But they went ahead and obeyed the Lord when he told them. Oh, yeah. They obeyed. So we should, as a walking Christ, and we are, you know, like Christ, like, we should always obey. Mm -hmm. And that if we um, obey, the, uh, obey his word, yes, we should always obey his word. Even sometimes we might have doubt, but we know the word is true. Yes. When we know it, and that's where we don't have no doubt in the word, but sometimes, you know how we want things to happen? Mm -hmm. Uh, at a certain time, and it, it don't happen. So, mm -hmm. so I know I have some. Mm -hmm. Well, I want you. You, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. Now, uh, if you look for him to be with him, which he is, but it's you. Mm -hmm. You know, if your thoughts are mine, right. sometimes limit things from happening. But uh, this this happened today. Obey, they was obedient. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and uh, just a little of this. It's not in the lesson. Uh, it's not in the lesson today. Uh, but you remember, I don't think it is. Uh, when Jesus asked uh, Peter a question about, you know, the. the of the problems, not sinner, but do you love me? Mm -hmm. And I said, yes. You know, I love me. He asked him three times. Yes. Do you love me uh, more than you love? But, you know, in the lesson, mm -hmm. to me, mm -hmm. but it, it wasn't that I thought he was asking, do you love him more than he loved the disciples? And you know when he was at, but that wasn't what it was. But I read somewhere it it was meaning that he loved him more than he loved fishing. You know his profession, mm. and, and just like us, we uh, he don't want us to put anything be you know before him. Mm. Like uh, sometimes we. And some people might love their house or cars or their career and stuff like that, you know, before him. But he doesn't want us to put anything before him. Mm -hmm. you know. 
So that was why he was asking me to that. But I, at the beginning, I thought he was tough with that. Do you love me more than you love the disciple? Mm -hmm. But he was talking about, you know, his career and vision. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Sister Hunt, you know, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me three times? Yes, like the clothes. Peter had denied him three times. Three times, times. <laughs> yes. Amen. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's good, Sister. I'm not teasing, but I just had a thought here and from my topic here. To back up what I said, I didn't know it was in the book, but my fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they had this in the book. I done read the lesson and I jumped over from page 176 at the top left hand corner. It so taking a tip from a stranger is not something most professional fishermen would care to do. Mm. And I, I was just a young child mm -hmm. and I didn't take <laughs> Chip from a, a total stranger. Mm. It says, fishermen would care to do, but if what they have already tried has not been working, they might conclude they have nothing to lose. That being so, the disciples were willing to follow the stranger's advice, namely to catch their net to be the right of their boat in order to catch some <coughs> fish. Mm. And when I, when I said I they just raised, they were people fishing on the same lake I was fishing on, but I didn't know who they were. And they said, you go around now, son, you catch a lot of fish. And I didn't look at them because my sister then trained me how to fish. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm calling myself a professional fisherman, which is about six years old. I'm a professional <laughs> yeah. professional fisherman, in which I wasn't no professional fisherman, but I understood what she had been telling me how to fish. Mm -hmm. And I did catch some fish where I was at because I know how to fish. Mm -hmm. But also, when Jesus mentioned the right side, a lot of times we're trying to get things done and we're not doing it in the right way or we're not doing it in the right, you can ask somebody to do something, not in the right attitude, not the right tone of voice. Mm, yes, that yes, right yes. side means a lot we got to pay close attention to what he's saying here That's on good. the right side. That's good. Of the boat, yeah. which mm -hmm. I guess that they probably have either said the left side. As long as they was obeying, yeah, that's right, in the proper respect of who they was obeying in order. Otherwise, I can obey a Paulus if he am. I'm working on the job now. I'm on the job now. I'm working now, and El Paulus is my supervisor. Then I got a, he got a supervisor to come along, to, but I have to give the proper respect to my own immediate mm -hmm. supervisor instead of, I ain't going to obey him, I'm obeying him. I was working on my job and some people wouldn't obey their immediate supervisor, but they'd obey to his supervisor. Wow. Because he had more authority. Mm -hmm. But we supposed to obey the immediate That's right. supervisor. That's right. Give him more respect than we do the old one. Why? Yeah. Because he my immediate supervisor. Yeah. <coughs> and I'm, I'm going to shut up. All right. Thank you. I don't talk to you. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, thinking about her, a mother when she was saying about the uh, three uh, times uh, Jesus had uh, visited them after his uh, resurrection. Yes. Uh, praise God. Like the first first time, it was the uh, ten of them uh, closed off, uh, afraid uh, of the Jews. Mm -hmm. And then they, that was the first time he 
just appeared inside. Uh, he didn't c come through no door or nothing. He just appeared uh, inside yes. uh, where they were, praise God. And he uh -oh. let them know not to be afraid and all. Right. And the second time, uh, uh, they had told uh, Thomas that they had seen the Lord. Yes. And Thomas didn't believe it uh, because uh, he wasn't there to see it for himself and he didn't believe it. Mm -hmm. And so the second time when Jesus appeared, uh, he ex uh, specified uh, Thomas yes. and told him to to uh, put his uh, hand in, in uh, his hand where the nail scarred and, and, and his side and everything. And then he realizes that it was the Lord. Mm -hmm. Then he said, uh, uh, my Lord, and you know, he believed that. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said that blessed, uh, he said, Thomas, uh, since you have seen me, you believe. But blessed are those that mm -hmm. have not seen me, mm -hmm. but yet believe mm -hmm. yeah. that this happened. Mm -hmm. Praise God, glory to God. And this is the third time when he uh, here at the Sea of Tiberias, uh, uh, with the fish on fish and bread uh, for the disciples, and they didn't know who he was, but uh, I believe that uh, when he told them to cast the net on the right side, mm -hmm. and and uh, when they caught all those fishes, mm -hmm. then they realized who he was. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, praise God because they know that no other one could have told them mm -hmm. to cast that net over there and mm -hmm. cut all those fish like that. Mm -hmm. And because they were uh, uh, professionals mm -hmm. and they knew and they had seen all the miracles and things that Jesus had done because they were there with him. Yes, and they knew that that had to be him. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And so uh, he, he uh, died on the cross for us and was buried. And uh, he rose on the third day. And that uh, uh, resurrection is, uh, if he had not risen, we would, would still be in sin. Mm -hmm. Praise mm -hmm. God, glory to God. Think about that. He, he died for us and was uh, in the grave. But if he had not risen the third day, Praise God, we are yet would be in sin. Yes. But he risen just like he said that he would. Yes. Praise God, glory to God. And and uh, that's the price he paid that we may be free. Uh, free you. of uh, our, our sin. That we can come boldly to the throne of grace and talk to him for ourselves. Right. Because uh, uh, before, uh, we couldn't do that as a whole. Praise God. But now, since he's risen, we can. Right. We can We can uh, make us all to anywhere, oh, yeah. wherever we are. Mm -hmm. And we need to call on him. We can call on him. Yes. We don't, it's not just necessary all the time to be at church and call on him. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, because things can be happening to you out, uh, outward. Yeah, that's right. right. But we, we have to know that we can call on him anytime, oh, yeah. anywhere. Praise God. Over in the midnight hour, yes. we can call on Him. Yes. Praise God. Glory to God. Talking about this, this Jesus that has risen, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 he, he, he risen in, in a physical body. He died in a physical body, and He rose uh, in a physical body. Praise God. Glory to God. And a lot of times, people may think it's a, a fiction of their imagination. But people saw that this happened. Mm. Praise God. It's witness. And, and it's, it is true. Because he is true. Yes. Praise yes. God. Glory to God. And, and, and uh, this uh, lesson, when I think about his, his uh, resurrection, praise God, it really blesses me. Mm -hmm. It really blesses me to think about he said uh, uh, he was going to rise in three days, and he did. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Glory to God. And uh, he's alive forevermore. He never had to die anymore. Amen. He's alive forevermore. Praise God. Glory to God. And, and uh, uh, it's for us to take his word just like uh, uh, the 
disciples took his word, mm -hmm. took him at his word. That's why we have to take him at his word. Whatever the Bible says, uh -huh. that's what we are to accept. That's right. And, and, and to uh, believe that this is what he said. We can do this. Mm -hmm. We can do all things through Christ which strengthen us. Right. But with, with him, without him, our power is limited. Mm -hmm. Our strength is limited. Yes. But with him, we can do all things. All things. Praise God. When something look hard, if he told us we can do it, we can, we can. through him. Yeah. Praise God. Having faith in him. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Glory to God. And, and uh, uh, it is for us uh, uh, to look at the Word, mm -hmm. back at the mm -hmm. Word, and see how, how mm -hmm. the older, um, were the Old Testament, and then uh, compared with the New Testament, mm -hmm. uh, uh, praise God. <coughs> and and uh, in the Old Testament, a lot of things were limited. Mm -hmm. But here in the New Testament, since Jesus uh, uh, past uh, uh, since he rose uh, things are different mm -hmm. praise God but he said he would not do away with the old and 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 all uh, we bring some of the old with the new mm -hmm. uh, yes. uh, praise God mm -hmm. and and uh, back in the old uh, testament when it's talking about uh, paying tithes and all it's over in the New Testament, too. Mm -hmm. We have to believe the old and the new. Yes. Praise God. A lot of times they was talking about, uh, I won't pay because they did it back then. But they're not thinking about the New Testament and saying the same thing. Same thing. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Pay tithe. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And to think about, He is risen. Yes. Praise God. He, you can feel Him down in your sanctified soul. Mm -hmm. Praise God. You get to thinking about, get your mind on Him mm -hmm. and get to thinking about Him. Mm -hmm. You can feel Him mm -hmm. moving. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Knowing that He is alive. Yes. Praise yeah. God. Nothing can make you feel like a uh, hand touched from Jesus. Mm -hmm. Nothing Amen. can make you feel like that. Nothing. You can take all the drugs and all this kind of stuff. Praise God. It just make you stupid out of your head. Mm. But this uh, 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 keep you alive yes. when you're feeling Him. Yes. Praise God. You don't have no hangover. Mm. Right. Praise That's God. Glory right. to God. Amen. And, and uh, it's for us to keep Him in mind. Yes. Keep Him uh, in mind knowing how great He is. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, people like to be praised. Yes. They do something they like the uh, people to praise them about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so and so did this and did that. They have a big grin, you know, chest mm -hmm. out and everything. Yes. And praise God. If we like to be praised, what you think about our heavenly Father? Mm -hmm. All that He have done for us. Oh, yeah. He want us to be uh, uh, thankful and praise Him. Yes. And and uh, give Him glory and thanks mm -hmm. because He, if we wouldn't be here today. If he had not touched us with a thing of love Amen. and awakened us clothes and in our right mind, Amen. we would not be sitting right here today. Right. Praise God. And so we got something to be thankful uh, uh, for right. and take these lessons at heart. Amen. Praise God. And, and to uh, take heed as the disciples uh, take and heed, we have to do the same. Thank you, Brother Brian. Thank you, Father. Amen. Do we have another witness this morning in this great lesson here? Yeah, thank you for teaching this this morning. Yeah, I'd like to say something. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what kind of touch me was, you know, the same people that were praising Jesus when he was. I'm thinking about how he appeared. Cooking for them after he had rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. And he said that he was no vision. One man might have a vision and think he saw the Lord, but seven men will never have the same vision simultaneously, nor would they eat fish and bread during the vision. Mm -hmm. This was real. Mm -hmm. Jesus was alive, cooking for them and eating with them. He came up with power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they never, you know, I don't think Jesus came in no boat, wasn't no boat. 
uh, bag of bang for the show. He already had the food uh, cooking for them. And so and was telling him to bring something else, but cause he already knew that he was giving them more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I just thank God I know the Lord for myself. Yeah. Right. And I like the, the lesson outline. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says unsuccessful fishing trip. And then it says sudden abundance. Mm-hmm. And then fellowship with Jesus. Yes. I couldn't wait to read the lesson. Mm-hmm. I just find out about the sudden abundance. Oh, yes. I'm thankful for that. Yes. Thank y'all for listening. Amen. We will have another business this morning. This is a great lesson this morning. Those we call out of Rodney. There's no, no witness. We're going to read a portion of the concluding the lesson. So we will never run out of strength. Mm-hmm. If we will rely on God's strength, I want to see that God had to be in a, in a plan. That this right here, <laughs> right this lesson here this morning, we we been getting some good quotes from the writers. Mm. This is not in the Bible. This is what they put in there. Yes, and and you, know, I thank God for. Uh, Writing, these writers writing these letters because they put some good quotes in there. Mm-hmm. We will never run out of strength. If we will, re- will rely on God's strength, we will never fail if we obey what he, God says. Those are good things. I mean, if we line up with the word of God, we can't lose. Is it for worry free? We can't lose with the stuff we use. How many come mm-hmm. up line up with what God's word said? Mm-hmm. And we do what he said. If we do what he said, obey him. You know, even back in the Bible, in the old Bible, said obedience is greater than sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't bring all these goats and cows and stuff up here for the kill. If you just obey me, that's more and more. More better and more powerful than you than bringing all this junk up here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just using the phrase because that's what they have. They call it repent. Come in bringing this full of tone, the, uh, the atonement. But God's said obedience is greater than sacrifice. Just obey my word and you're all right. If we line up and obey the word of God, we we. We are sure whatever God's word said, we're going to do it. Yes, sir. El Rodney. Yes, sir. Come on. Come. Thank you, son, for obedience. Bless you. Bless you, mother. Bless you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Good morning. Yes, We've got a hand praise for our Sunday school teachers. Grateful for them. It's always good, Mother Hunt and everybody who participates. Yes, yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. All right, this lesson today, Jesus by the Sea of Tiberias. Lesson text is John 21. 1 through 14. Mm-hmm. All right, so I always say this. And probably keep saying it. Associate pastors, Dad and Mom Brian, has already taught the lesson, and they do very well. My assignment is to go through and review the scriptures of the lesson. All right, working together. Uh, you don't need your Bibles. So, what was the title of last week's lesson? Crucifixion and death. Who's death and crucifi- crucifixion? Jesus. Jesus. So we talked last week about how these things were done, chapter 19, verse 28, last week, to fulfill what? The Bible says these things were prophecy. done to fulfill prophecy, prophecy, prophecy scripture, mm-hmm. right? Yes. 
found in the Old Testament. Anytime we see the word scripture, it's talking about the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. When all was fulfilled that Jesus should do, in verse 30 of last week's lesson, he said, it is finished. finished. Mm. And he did what? He bowed his head and gave, gave, up, the gave up the ghost. He gave it up, right? Yep. Yes. No man took his life. He okay. gave it. He yeah. gave it. He gave up the ghost. Thank you. All right. Um, verse 38. Okay, verse 38. A secret disciple of Jesus asked Pilate for the body of Jesus. Who was this? Pilate. Joseph. Of Arimathea. Yes. Matthew, Matthew's version said this man was rich. Mark and Luke's version, uh, they clarified that this Joseph uh, was waiting on the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Right? He was a disciple of Jesus. They clarified he was he was with them. He was he was rich and he was waiting on waiting on the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So what, okay, why was he, why does the Bible say that he was disciples secretly? It says he, 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 he was secretly for fear of the Jews or the Judean leaders, right? Mm -hmm. he, was, he was afraid of them, so, you know, he was a closet believer. You know, he, but yet he believed though, right? Yeah. He believed, you know, and everybody have different, some people aren't. Jesus just wants you to believe, yes. right? Yeah. He wants us to believe. Mm -hmm. uh, but he was afraid of these Judean leaders, which included, what we have made clear, the puppet high priest that we've been discussing. Remember the chief or high priest of the Roman occupation, which is the Roman occupation of Israel, which is the time that we're in, uh, were appointed by King Caesar. Right? This wasn't according to the Aaronic or the Levitical priesthood ordained by God, which up until Jesus' resurrection, uh, up until he resurrected, there, there is no new covenant. They're still under the old covenant. BibleGateway.com, which is where a lot of people do their research, records that during the New Testament time, the high, the, high, the high priesthood had lost its Old Testament hereditary character, meaning that the high priests were not chosen by genealogy anymore as God's order was for his high priest to be sons of Aaron. Herod the Great had begun the practice of dismissing and appointing the high priests, which was a practice continued under Roman rule of Judea. <coughs> And they, they have in there, this, the effect of this was very harmful to Israel. Not only did the office of the high priest cease to be lifelong and hereditary, but the office of the high priest also became wholly dependent on political authority, which resulted in corruption. Okay, okay. So, so now, so verse 33 of, our, of, of, of that chapter. So Joseph of Ar Arimathea was secretly following <coughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. What did he ask Pilate for? His body. His body. That he might take away the body of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Did Pilate grant Jesus, uh, Joseph's request? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Verse 39, who also helped Joseph? Nicodemus. Nicodemus. Mm -hmm. Remember, Nicodemus was a Pharisee. Yes. Like, this is the one that came to Jesus by night. Mm -hmm. So what did Nicodemus bring in verse 39? A mixture of myrrh and aloes. Said about 100 pounds. Okay, so we, we, we gotta skip along, but, but I, I wanted to lay that in. But for the sake of time, I would say read chapter 20, it goes into Jesus showing himself two times to the disciples. Uh, chapter 20, verse 30, says Jesus did many other signs in the presence of who? His disciples. His disciples. Those signs were not 
Written, written in this book, right? Amen. Even John 21, 25, the last verse in the book of John says, The world itself could not contain the books that should be written concerning the things Jesus did. If they wrote everything down, all the books in the wow. world could not contain. Wow. Right? Amen. Jesus did a lot of stuff, but they just wrote down a few things. And I said all this, uh, and, and it goes on to say, and that believing you might have what? Faith. Faith. Well, John, uh, the last verse in chapter 20, it says, and, by, and that believing you may have life through his name. Mm -hmm. And we know that life refers to eternal life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which begins on judgment day. No. No. <laughs> no, it don't begin on judgment day. Eternal life begins after we die. Eternal life begins when we what? When we believe, when we accept. Woo! Man. That is when we have life. Yes. Oh man, you don't live until you accept, and then yes. that live is eternal. That life is eternal. Amen. Oh man, man, man. Okay. Heaven is heaven is our eternal destination, mm -hmm. but our eternal life is when we believe the gospel of the kingdom. Right? When we believe that Jesus was the Son of God. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and, and he says in John 20 and 31, these things were written that you believe that when you believe what? That Jesus is the Son of God. Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life through his name. Mm -hmm. I like that. And I, said, I, I had to touch on that. That's the verse before our lesson begins. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Okay. That's, boy, that's, that's encouraging. Mm -hmm. Life. I mean, our eternal life. Yes. I mean, we have to, when we believe that Jesus is the Son of God, yes. that is eternal life. Amen. Amen. <sighs> mm -hmm. That means anybody can make it in, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so now to our lesson. Uh, but but he said he said in all through believing that Jesus is the Son of God that he might have eternal life through His name, which represents His character or who He is. Mm -hmm. Jesus' only message of the gospel message was the gospel of the kingdom, which we will discuss we will discuss one day the kingdom. But that tells us His character or authority, which is the power of his name. My God. Yes. Okay. So our lesson, John 21, John 21 verse 1 uh, and, uh, says, after what? These, These things. things. So this is why we went back and we gave a glimpse of some continuity yes. in the scriptures. So in verse 1 says, after these things, Jesus showed, him, showed himself again to who? His disciples. His disciples where? Sea of Tiberias. Sea of Tiberias. Sea of Tiberias is also known as the Sea of Galilee. That's some study, isn't it? I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Verse 2, John records that there were seven disciples at this time that Jesus showed himself. Uh, but he, and he distinguishes five of them. Those five were Simon Peter, Thomas, Thomas called Didymus. Now, both of those names, Thomas and Didymus, both mean twin. Uh, Thomas, which was actually Tone or Tomas, Tom, 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 uh, Tom One, Tom One. Uh, that's the Hebrew word that means twin. Didymus, Thomas, Tom One is the Thomas is the Greek rendition of a Hebrew name. Mm -hmm. 
Didymus is a he is a Greek word, right? Didymus doesn't come from a, a Hebrew word. You know, just like I wrote down, just like Simon was Peter's name. Mm -hmm. Simon is the Greek rendition of Simeon. Yeah. Simeon, right? Mary is Miriam. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. Jesus called Simon Peter. Peter. Mm -hmm. Peter is a Greek name. Yes. But the point was, Jesus was calling Simon a rock. Yes. I, upon this rock yes. will I build my church. The gates of hell. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Okay, so, but Peter was a Greek name. So, so that wasn't uncommon to do that. But that was, you know, so his name was Thomas and Didymus. Both of those meant twin. Uh, and, and there was also... Another one, Nathaniel <coughs> of Cana, and then two sons of Zebedee. And those were, those two sons of Zebedee, according to, uh, according to Matthew 4, 21, those two sons of Zebedee were James and John. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so... Uh, so those were the five, and then, and then, and then he writes there was two other disciples. He doesn't, he doesn't say who it was. Mm -hmm. Verse three: Simon Peter said, "I'm going to do what? Fishing. I'm going to go a fishing. I go a fishing." Mm -hmm. uh, who went with him? Everybody else went with him, right? Yeah. Those disciples. Those disciples immediately entered into a ship. Did they catch anything that night? Nope. No. Now that next morning, who was standing on the shore? Jesus. Did the disciples recognize him at that time? No. no. I'm like, Mother, I, I believe that his resurrect, resurrected body was different. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of like... But but if, but once he told them who the, who he was, they could recognize him at that point, right? That's you know I, I, I agree with that. Uh, so verse five, what did Jesus ask them on the fishing on the ship? Have any Children, have you any meat? The word meat just meant food, right? They said no. Verse six. Then Jesus told them to do what? Yes. 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 Right side of the ship. Like Dad was saying, if you just <laughs> it's just something, boy, and mom said this too. Yes. You know, we just do what Jesus said. Like we can have a plan and we can even know what we're doing. Right. Did, did, did they do what Jesus told them to do? Yes. Did they work out for them? Yes. <laughs> it's gonna always work out when we do what Jesus, what the word says, right? So it worked for them, uh, and they had so many fish that they were not able to do what? Verse 6. Draw it in. They had so many fish. Now, they've been doing this all night long. Yes. Like Dad was saying, they were professional fishermen. Mom saying this, Mom was saying this too. They were professional fishermen. Yes. Now, I'm a professional. What I, what I do, I've been doing it for almost 30 years. And I've got this thing mm -hmm. where I'm an electrician. Yes. And the customer calls me and they say, well, I got some problems, this and that, you know. Mm -hmm. They can tell me what the problem is, but once they start trying to tell me what they think it is, mm -hmm. I listen to them, but I'm... <laughs> I, I listen to like I'll be quiet and I'll let them talk but I'm not thinking about what they're saying yes. I have done that before and I've wasted a lot of time trail on this rabbit trail of what they thought it was yes. I don't mm -hmm. I know time is precious right I ain't got time to be wasting so yes. <laughs> So somebody, you know, I, so I can understand, you know, if you're a professional and somebody telling you, you usually don't, you know, a lot of we don't do that. But Peter did, right? Yes. They did. They yes. they took Jesus' advice and it worked out for them. It did. It worked out for them. I, and that was a divine thing right there because they didn't really know who he was. Amen. Mm -hmm. And and that's just beautiful when 
you know, when, when you do something and not realizing that you're doing God's will and then, and then the, the miracle that works behind it, all, that's just a powerful experience right there, right? You're just grateful for God's grace, right? Yeah. Mercy. All right. Uh, so, so they told, uh, uh, they had so many fish they weren't able to draw it in. Uh, verse 7, one disciple recognized Jesus after this. Uh, what did he tell Peter? It is the Lord. Who was this? John. John. He said the disciple that Jesus loved, but that's usually John. Now when Peter heard that it was the Lord, <laughs> he gird or put on his clothes and did what? He jumped in the <laughs> Peter was a wild card, boy. He, he, he didn't have no filter, Peter. Was just, Peter, what it, what it was is what it was. You know, he, I don't know what, this is where I'm going and where he is, right? Uh, did the other disciples go to where Jesus was too, verse 8? Yeah. Yes. How did they get there? Yeah. In a little ship. How far from the land were they? How far from the land? 200 cubits. That translates to about 100 yards. Or so. What were they dragging with them? A net with fish. Verse 9. What did the disciples see when they came to the land? Fire, coals, fish, and bread. Verse 10. Jesus told them to bring fish. Fish that you have caught. Verse eleven. Simon Peter drew the net to the land. How far were? Uh, how? Excuse me. How many fish were in the net? One hundred and fifty-three. And the Bible says these were great fish, right? Amen. These were no little purchase. You know, these were. <laughs> you know, purchase usually. Sometimes I used to see them purchase be real small. <laughs> But the Bible said they were great fish. So for a net with all these big fish, did the net break? No. Verse 12, Jesus said, come and what? Dine. Dine. Did any other disciples ask, who art thou? No. Why not? They knew it. They knew it was the Lord. Verse 13, Jesus then came and gave them what? Bread. Bread and fish. Verse 14, how many times did this did this make of Jesus showing himself to his disciples after his resurrection? Third time. Third time. Like we said earlier, the last verse in John 21, in John, verse chapter 21, verse 25, says, the world could not contain the books that should be written of everything that Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was Jesus by the Sea of Tiberias. Mm -hmm. That in mind, you got have me closing the doors. I was just thinking about the question was they didn't know Jesus, who he was, mm -hmm. because they decided that he was looking different. Mm -hmm. You know, on the path, on the road to this place called India, the disciples, I mean, they was talking. And Jesus joined himself with mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he talked with them, and they still didn't know who he was mm -hmm. until he vanished out of sight. And they began to question, in my eyes, in my ears, heart burned, as he spake with us. Yeah. Otherwise, they understood his words, mm -hmm. what he was saying. Yeah. And I'm looking at this, I may be a different way from you all, but looking at we might not understand, and I know my wife reported a while ago about you know the voice, mm -hmm. but you might not see the voice, but you know that voice. Mm -hmm. yes. In my time in the hospital years ago, a long time ago, I knew my wife's voice. I mean, I knew her feet walk. We've been together so long. When she come off that elevator, I know them feet when they be hit the floor. My wife, I said, I would tell the nurse. That's my wife coming. I heard it coming. Because I know the walk. 
and you will be, if you run somebody wrong enough, you know they boss, even if you don't see the face. A mother know a child boss when they get in distress. Mm -hmm. If they're really in distress, they'll know. Mm -hmm. But if they just play it, they'll know that too. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they got connection with that voice of that child. Yeah. And just like when Jesus was speaking, I believe these disciples just knew mm -hmm. it had to be somebody that they had some confidence in mm -hmm. to do what he said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because like even our writer said, and our topic said, even a professional, and you just mm -hmm. want to know you're professional like twisted. Mm -hmm. You listen, mm -hmm. but you ain't going all the time on the rabbit trail mm -hmm. like what they're telling you mm -hmm. sound like. Mm -hmm. Because you know, if you listen and what they are saying, you know exactly what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. Because you're a professional. Mm -hmm. You've been trying all them rabbit trails and mm -hmm. other stuff, what they've been talking about. And, and even I was a child, and I'm just going all in the rough and rough path. Um, my sister had taught me how to fish. Mm -hmm. She told me how to watch the water. She told me how to go up for the wind. And she did that. Mm -hmm. And these people come along and tell me, good son, go around on that part of the lake. I listened to them. Mm -hmm. Because you, you, know, you didn't do it. Old people like children do them now. Yeah, yeah. Because you get a spanking by them and then you go home and your mother and dad give you another spanking. Yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. They can do it then. Mm -hmm. I just listened to them. Yeah. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. And I kept right on fishing. I caught some fish. Mm -hmm. But I didn't go way around there where they told me. Oh, they were talking about, yeah, yeah. Yes, amen. That's a. Uh, and, and, and I, I, I agree with that. You know, they, they, they knew that voice. Yes. They must have knew that voice. Yes. And they did that. Mm -hmm. And it worked. Yes, it worked. It always will. Mm -hmm. Always will. And I'm, I'm just so grateful for God. Yes. Yes. You know, I don't have to just walk around okay. blind. Yes. Amazing. We got a few more minutes. Any, any other thoughts or questions? On a, on a lesson. I just want to say that when Peter uh, obeyed God, that's when he was able to be blessed. Mm -hmm. um, the boats, I was reading this lesson the other day, and it said that even the ships, there were other people there, mm -hmm. you know, because everybody's fishing. So even the other people in that blessing moment was able to be blessed. Mm -hmm. There was fish for everybody. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say that even the other boats had to come in and help because there right. was so much of a, a fish load. Mm -hmm. And I want to, uh, that's good, that was good. And uh, you asked a question last week about the gall and hit and hyssop, and I, I, I didn't, couldn't remember back then, but uh, the gall was, they said the gall was a type of, uh, it was something that they put in the vinegar. And they said vinegar was really kind of like type of wine, right? But, mm -hmm. but they said a gall was, was kind of was bitter and some some of, some people actually said it was a poison. You know, some stuff that they mixed in there with the vinegar. Mm -hmm. And the hyssop was a, was a type of a tree, a branch. So I told you I was gonna get back with you. Do you think it might have been to, to help this, to this yeah, and yeah, yeah, they're trying to get them. He was already gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't have to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Anybody else? Any other thoughts or questions? Thank God for his word. Well, this is all of this. <clears throat> verse 31, John chapter 20 says, These things were written that ye might believe. Yes. And God is always concerned what we believe. Yes. He wants us to believe that Jesus is the Christ, Amen. the Son of God. Amen. Not just He didn't just want us to believe that to control us or whatever. Like a lot of people, the you know ideas that people have this day, it's written right here that if we believe that we might have life. <laughs> That's the gateway to life, is believing mm -hmm. in 
Jesus, right? right? The gospel of the kingdom. Believing that he is the son of God. And doing that, we raise our children to believe that so that they will have life. Right? right? When they're old, they won't depart. Right? You don't give them a choice when they're young. You don't give them a choice when they're young of what to believe. When they're older, they'll make up their mind up, but they got a foundation. Right? And they won't depart from them. We got to put it in them. We got to give them something to believe. Right? Amen. Depend on them because the world raise them, they're going to be the world. Amen. But, but he said, these things were written that we might believe. What you believe determines how you perceive everything else. Amen. Oh, man, that hope, that hope that we got to have. I'm grateful for this stuff right here. This is an anchor for our soul. Woo, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. So, and I'm, I'm encouraged, and I'm encouraged everybody, like mother would always say, to stay encouraged and believe the gospel. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Don't change. Don't change. Thank you. Father God, we thank you for your word. We thank you that we have something to believe in. And believe that we might have eternal life through your name. We thank you, Father, for giving us another chance. A chance to have eternal life for salvation. Through the blood of Jesus, we thank you for the sacrifice. God, we just thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for... But we thank you for the package yes. that you gave us. Yes. Huh. We just thank you. Thank you. We also stand in the gap. We thank you uh, for working out what yes. you're doing in the bodies of your people. Yes. Healing, God, in the bodies of your people. God. Yes. The, the sick and the shedding, God, we're standing in the gap. Lord. We thank you for the work that you're doing in the bodies of your people right now by your spirit for your glory. Your word that says by Jesus' stripes we are healed, God. We thank you for that this morning. We thank you right now. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for the word that's coming forth. And we thank you for what you're doing in our lives for your glory, God. We'll thank you forever. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.